Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and here we give a quick overview on how to play our Math Dog rounding series of games. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, as well as fun games and teaching tools, and they're all free to use and play without any membership or sign-up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game. Now, this particular version that I'm, I'm showing is a rounding the nearest 10. We also have rounding the nearest 100 and that rounding the nearest 1,000. They all play the same with the exception of what they round to. So if you're watching this for that particular game, just keep in mind that they're all the same. They play the same, but with the difference only being what they round to. Okay, when you first start the game, you're going to see the More Games button, which will take you to our website, mathnook.com. The video button will take you to the page containing the video you're watching now. This button here toggles the music on and off, and this toggles the sound effects on and off. So if you want to have absolutely no sound, you just leave it like this. And if you want to have the sound effects on, you would leave it like that. And if you want the sound effects and the music, you would leave it like that. We'll go ahead and turn those off. And to play, you need to click the play button, and you'll be given three buttons to choose from beginner advanced and expert and they just vary uh, with the difficulty level beginner being the easiest advanced a little bit more difficult and the expert is even more difficult than the advanced let's go ahead and take a look at the beginner game and you have two op three options here actually back will take you back to the menu so in case you want to play, play a different level or something you can change it up but let's go ahead and go back where we were normal is the Untimed version of this game and time attack is the time version. Go ahead and let's take a look at the normal game first. And when you first start the game, you'll be given a well, I should say a level, um, which number rounds to 20 when round is the nearest 10. Well, that's 18. And the first time in, it's a give me and it tells you the correct answer to choose. You can either click or tap it. And if you notice, since we just started the game, I haven't answered any in a row correctly, so it's zero. And the record zero. And as I make correct answers, this will bump up. So let's go ahead and choose a correct answer, which is 18 because it does round to 20. Which number rounds to 40 when rounded the nearest 10? And that would be 38. And you notice I've answered one in a row correctly, and the record's one. When I click 38, two and two. Now, when I make one wrong, let's go ahead and get one right again. So now the record's uh, correct answer in a row is three, record is three. Now it says which number rounds to 50. The actual answer is 54. I'm going to go ahead and choose 59 and see what happens. It tells me rounding the nearest 10, 54 rounds to 50, and I chose 59. At this point, I can replay, choose the replay button to replay as it, uh, with the mode I'm playing right now, or go to the main menu and choose something else to play. Let's go ahead and choose replay. And 80, I'm going to go ahead, you see the correct answers in rows went back down to zero, and I got one right. 103, I'm going to go ahead and two, and you're going to see now correct answer in the row is three, and record's three. And now when I go choose that, I'll go ahead, and you see that that bumps up there. Okay, so to end the game, I just get one wrong, and I'll go to the menu. Go ahead and take a look at the time mode because we've seen how the normal mode plays on time version now when you first start you have a red bar and it as time goes by it gets smaller and smaller and when it gets down here it's going to this guy's going to start moving which tells you you have very little time to get the correct answer and we get the correct answer the problems are pretty much the same so the one and you notice the the record is different for the time mode than it is for the untime mode so we'll go ahead and let the time run out so you can see what that looks like. And it gets down to zero, and you're out of time. So that's how you play the time version. So you've seen the time version, untime version. And again, this is the same game with, uh, as the other games that round to the various levels, the 100 to the nearest 100 to the nearest 1,000. So I hope this video has helped some. I hope you have fun playing the game, and thanks for watching.